Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're going to finish this Odd Girl canvas up. This is part two, the last part. So I was looking at these eyes and I think I want them black. So I grabbed, this is Derwent sketching dark wash in 8B. And then this is my Stabilo. Um, I'm going to try this first. And all I'm going to do, let's see what it does. I'm going to go around here. I might have to use the Stabilo because that paints over that activates over anything, but I'm digging the black. I don't necessarily want the brown today. Oh no, that's so black. No, this is good. All right. So all you're going to do is take black watercolor or acrylic paint, water it down a bit. Or if you have a water soluble pencil, which is what I'm using, watercolor pencil, you know, and you see the, like, I like that. And I'm going to probably wet it, but I just like that color better. I'm going to go in here and do the same thing. And just go over those dark brown parts. Why do I sing when I'm doing it? I'm going over the black parts, the brown parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see, I like it. It makes it pop a little bit more and I'm gonna do the same with the lamps. And just outline them real thick with the black. I won't activate the lips. Like I probably will do the eyes. So then I'm gonna take a little brush with a little water. And just touch it as I go. Now these, when I, I'm, I'm activating these with water. What's going to happen is if I go to put anything else on here, it's going to um, reactivate anything wet, any paint or anything like that. So just be aware if you're using any water soluble, if you have ink tents or ink tents actually dries um, permanent. Those are fantastic. Okay, so see how that just made, I, I like it darker like that. So I'm gonna do it over here too. I'm just very lightly going around, not worrying too much. If it goes, you know, if it's too thick or not thick enough. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I'm gonna take some of this off here and I think I'm gonna pull very lightly into the brown from both sides. Cause I don't want those so black, but I want them. Yeah. And do the same here, pull it in. Okay. I like that better. I don't know. So I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush and make shadows down here on the neck. Just a little bit. And I'm not going to, I was going to take this red out, but I don't think I'm going to. I really don't. Okay, so what color do I want to make down here? Hmm. Red or orange? I think I might do orange because her lips are orange. Why not? Who says there has to be rules? So I'm going to take some orange. Orange. And I already did do a little line here, kind of, of where. So I'm just going to follow that pencil line. Mm 
and fill it in. And I, I don't care if some of that bottom comes through. I like that. But if you do, if, if it does bother you and you don't like it, you could paint a couple coats. You can gesso it or throw white down as your gesso if you don't have gesso. Um, or you could use scrapbook paper and just cut it out that shape. I think I'm going to glitter the uh, pochangas off of this shirt when it's dry. Just do tons of glitter on it. Because I like glitter. And it makes me happy. So I'm going to just paint the base of this orange right here. To clean off my brush. And bring that down a bit. No rhyme or reason. It is what it is. I love it. She's kind of creepy looking. I like the uh, the black around her um, eyes better than the blue. It makes the white whiter in the eyes. So I'm happy with that. Now I got to let that dry. Now I want to take a, let's see, what color do I want to outline her hair? I love outlining everything in black the way I like it. Um, if I could find a black one. All right, here's black right here. Oh, is that black open? Let me see. All right, let me see. I'm just using a black paint pen. You use Sharpie if you have it. Well, I got these Liquitex um, acrylic uh, marker paint things. They're, I think they're paint. And if you don't use them right away, I don't want to leave them sit because they'll go bad. I can't tell you the art supplies that, I've, that went bad on me. And I'm just tracing very like sketchy like and loosely around it. I'm not worrying about it. You can use a pen, like I said, a marker, uh, any kind of marker that you have. Because she is a cartoony kind of girl. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. You can, I like doing very sketchy, like around. I also like to smear around. I mean, I, I like to do it all. I'm a, uh, equal opportunity liner. I like it all. Let's see, just make it a little sketchy and then we can go in here on our bangs. And just add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of sketchiness there. Give her a little bit of bang. Bang for her buck. Nothing fancy. You can also put your arm in the orange shirt and then wear paint all day. And when you go to the store and they look at you like you're crazy. And I'm just like, no, I was just painting. And I put my arm in paint. Then you can go through. If you want to use pink, you can. Um, I think I'm going to give some like curl here, like just some little I probably should have all right, come on, come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. What's that Wizard of Oz song? After they kill the witch. It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I'm just drawing, drawing lines. I'm not not being really fancy about it. Or am I? No, I'm not. Just making it very sketchy. I just love the sketch. Very loose. Because I might have been loose one time, many times, years ago. Who knows? All right. See, I like, like I said, I like the, uh, and you can put a million colors in there if you want. Just, just, you know, it's like highlights, low lights, have a light, whatever you want. What you really, really want. Right. And like I said, the paint's a bit, a little bit wet. I don't care. And I'm going to go with a little bit of white highlights too, so. 
gonna do that. I'm gonna put the lid back on now. Put it in here. I'll put it in now. And then grab my jelly roll. So once that's dry, I can do that. I'm gonna dry real quick my shirt. Not when I get my marker back. I should have outlined the shirt. Which was one of my goals, and I totally forgot about it as I was outlining the hand. Now, you can put eyelashes on her. If I had fake eyelashes here, I'd put them on her. So, you could do that. One more time. And let me go around on this here. Make it a bit bolder. Okay. See how we're just so it doesn't matter, it's sketchy. And I, I push this on here to let some of that ink come out and I'm just dragging it and it makes it, I don't, I just love it. It's just what I'm loving today. And I'll trace here at the neck, just very loving it. And then I'm going to do a little, it doesn't matter if it comes out all the way or not, just a little, you know, for the chin, you can definitely outline the face. Then I want to take color, color, color. I think I'm gonna take purple, even though it's chunky monkey purple. Yeah, and kind of cheese purple, yum. And I'm going to. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Where'd it go? It must be over here. Okay. So then I'm gonna take a pouncer. Well, let me show you. Oh, well, my pouncer fell on the floor because the bag is apparently opened the wrong way and only one person could have done that. God darn it, me. All right, so this is just a little pouncer, but you use whatever, you know, whatever you have. And I'm just going to do it on the black here. Just make the purple a little darker. But that purple is very uh, chunky cottage cheese. So let's see how it... Yeah, that's all I want. Is, see what I'm saying? I'm going to do... Half there, I need a little bit more. Like that. Like that. Oh, this paint. Okay. A little bit there. And I'm just going to, I put it on the outside because I only wanted a half, but that's just going to match the other purple. So it's no big deal. Put one there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And look, just, just a little fanciness. She got a polka dot shirt on. Now, if you want to be fancy and you want to take just to clean off your thing, look, just go around, add a little bit of the purple everywhere. So you clean off your thing. So everybody needs their thing cleaned off. And there you go. It just adds a little, a little more, you know, something on there. Then make sure you wash that because you're gonna want to. Now this is just a jelly roll. Let's see if it works. Yep, and I'm just going in for highlights here. I'm gonna follow the same kind of thing, just adding. Adding it in there. If you don't have a jelly roll, use white paint. And after this is dry, I am going to glitter this. So, Okay. Now, 
I think that's all I want to do. Just very simple. Like I said, I don't, let's just add in a little bit. You know, we're playing, we're just playing. You're, you're stretching your, you know, you're, you're just trying something here. You're, Like I said, if I had real eyelashes down here, I would put eyelashes on. I think that would look really good. But I don't have them down here. Okay. Now, let me ask. Well, not ask because I'm going to decide. But, uh, see, I like the background. The background's very... It's not overly mixed media but it's not... Uh, you know, you still have that light coming through. She's more of the uh, focus. Now... What I would probably do is leave it like this and then just seal it. Um, but you can take white watered down paint and do this on the a background, you know, do some of it on the background to take some of that even back further. I kind of like this is very simple. Um, but I mean, that's how easy it is. It's not that big a deal. And, you know, you didn't do nothing major. You just kind of did did your uh, little girl in her hair. Now, what I wanted to do, and I might continue to do this. I don't, I'm trying to think if I'm going to do this or not. I might. I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take my Stabilo, but you can use black paint. And, hmm. I just want to make her like, I'm going to add triangles and you probably are not going to be able to see them until I get them here, but so I was going to do cat ears and then I changed my mind. I just kind of want to. I have, let me open this big black one. Let's see if I have better luck drawing with this one. Gotta let it come down. Cause I never can leave anything alone. I just like to play. You can definitely leave it just like this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of look where I drew so I have an idea. See how she has that like behind her? I might want to color that in. Hmm. All right. I mean, I'm going to color it in. I was just deciding what color to color it in. All right. That one worked good, that pen. Oh, what color? We have to do a metallic color. That is what we must do. Oh, let me see what colors I have. Just want a color, a color, a color. Hmm. Let's see if these still work, because I bought these. These are the uh, Elmer's, Elmer Fudd, Elmer's Project Poppers. But I don't know if these are going to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, so good. Look at that. It's working and it's covering it so that's good so I can if you guys have been with me for a while you know the whole episode I had with Elmer's the company but uh, all is well and I do like these these are nice to uh, use it I mean look how nice they're they're going on
so simple. And they come in so many colors. I think I might have might have the other ones in there too. I've been using them, so who knows? They could be all gone. I save everything. That's my problem, even when they're empty. And then I always think that they're, I still have them, that I don't need new. But really, I do. So if you can't afford the ink tents, not the ink tents, wait a second. I just remember that black line. If you can't afford the Liquitex markers that I just used, uh, the acrylic paint and the pens that I just used for that, these are a great alternative. They are, uh, they're called Project Poppers and it's permanent and they uh, are in your craft stores. So you can go to AC Moore, Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby and get a pack and they come in, well, let me do this so I can leave it dry and then I'll show you if I have them. So use your coupon, you get them half off, 40% off, and these are fantastic. I've been painting with these a lot um, as I do my, my canvases and stuff, so. Because you see how wonderful they go over. Now let me see if I have the other colors here. Gosh, Kelly. Like here's a metallic green. There's, what else? I don't want to disturb my dog. He's sleeping, but I can't get in now. There's metallic red. There's metallic brown. There's gold. There's copper. It comes in a pack of five. They're very, very wonderful. So I wonder what color. Maybe I'll, ooh, maybe I'll, all right. I'm going to have to move my dog. One second. Oh, it's so enjoyable. Where are you? Let's see, there's that. Okay, that's a little. Okay, so, and these are other colors. There's blue and pink. So I think I'm gonna do dots in here and do, um, make it kind of fancy with some more dots. Let me dry it for a second. But you can see how shiny and delicious it is. So these are great. Maybe I'll pick up a thing the next time I go and do a giveaway with them. Everybody could use these. These and the Crayola Slick Sticks. I have a million videos on them. Um, they're just like gelatos. They're wonderful. I know a lot of you have been requesting other watercolor uh, material stuff. Like I always say, Crayola's great. I'm not a... Um, I can't... I can't sit here and say... Uh, this is the best watercolor palette to buy because honestly, there are way, way, way better watercolor artists than me. I don't even consider myself a watercolor artist. I use watercolor in my mixed media. However, I do not paint watercolor. I try and try and really my goal is to just be able to do it. Um, and who knows I will. And I'm going to, I did one video of it and I'm going to be doing more. Um, but what was my point? Oh, but uh, like the gelatos and the uh, all the Crayola stuff, the slick sticks and all that being used as watercolor and all that kind of stuff is so much fun. And it's fun that if you play, if you like to do arts and crafts or want your uh, kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, neighbors, whoever to do them with you, you know, you can use the Crayola and not um, worry that it's very expensive, blah, blah, blah. The same with these Elmer's. Um, you don't have to worry that they're so expensive that, that with the kids use them up. You know what I mean? Because you don't get tons in here, but you know, all right, I'm done blabbing. Okay. Let's see if there's any in this pink color. Let's do a dot. All right. This might be dry, dried out. So maybe I'll just do three dots because I don't think we're getting much from this one today. And you can tell the color. I've used it quite a bit. Yeah, that ain't going to do nothing. Nothing. So that's probably dried out. So let's try the blue. I can see here that's dried out too. Oh, no, that works better. I'm going to take it right over there. As I put my freaking hand in it, I swear. See, that's why I do this because... You guys, 
I am not the only one who sticks their hands in their wet paint. I can't be. Am I? Let me know. Okay. Look how nice that adds. Just a little something, right? And then we have our gold. I don't know if I'm going to put the gold in there. I think I might trace trace the uh, outside one more time with the black to make it pop a little bit more. And I think that's, I think I'm going to be okay with that. You know, just to kind of take it over. But I always tell, you know, when you guys are starting out, beginner products, kids, uh, kids supplies, kids products, Rose Art, Crayola, um, you know, same with alcohol markers, Sharpies and Bix. They're fantastic. Use them, get them. They're inexpensive and play. Number one, you know, it's, I, I have talked about this before, but you know, I love perfume and I love makeup too, but I love perfume. So I'll go out and buy, let's just say a decent price perfume and I won't use it because I spent so much money on it. Well, why, what sense does that make? So instead, you know, I've been trying to use them. Um, and it's the same with art supplies. You go out and you buy, you know, a good art supply that you want and it's a little costly. And then I do the same thing. I don't want to use it because I don't want it to go, you know, be done. And then I'm not going to have it anymore. What's the point? There is no point. All right. You know, just use it. Life's so short. Today is the, um, today is the, uh, fifth anniversary. My son passed five years ago today. And if that taught me anything, it is life is so short. It's just too short to play around and, and, uh, not live, you know? So I want you guys to live and use your art supplies. <laughs> okay. Yes. Say. And this is what, look at the, how the, look at that. The shine in it. I don't know how well you can see. So I I like it. I like it. And that's it. Is that this is the second video. I'm not gonna make it wicked long or nothing. We didn't do anything too fancy. I am once this is dry, I'll probably put glitter on that. But I just, you know, play. I probably will go in once this is dry and take the thinner black and do like like some doodling like this. Let me show you. Mm, like this. And just kind of doodle. This is like the worst marker in the world. So I won't be using this marker. But just kind of doodling all around. Just add a little bit more interest to them. But that's it. So I hope you liked it. I hope with, for you guys. Um, I did this for a group of you guys who uh, have written me over and over again. Wanting mixed media start to finish. And um, easy and not too many supplies. So like I said, this with the odd girl, if you don't want to do a little odd girl or you don't want to draw a girl, then use a heart, use a, you know, use whatever, something that's easy. Um, and that you, you know, that you can sit and play with and have fun. And I mean, this really, you know, took us about basically maybe, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes at the most. And we just sat and played and I could have got it done a little bit sooner if I wasn't, you know, talking and uh, getting off track and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a cute little, you know, just a cute little thing to do, you know? And when you're doing, um, is Jackie Stan, what I believe her name is, um, please forgive me if that's not your name, if that's not your last name. I know your name's Jackie. I'm out of it, but, um, I should have probably written it down, but she did a wonderful, uh, gifts for her family and posted them in my group. And, uh, she did these beautiful gifts for them who handmade beautiful beautiful, beautiful. And, you know, so it can definitely, you know, be worth, if you don't have a canvas, do it on a piece of paper and just do something. Um, put a nice quote on it or, or something or write a letter, make it, you can, you know, write, you know, some nice quote or some nice message or whatever, or even on the back. And, uh, you have a nice, nice gift, you know? So don't always give up and don't think because you, uh, might not have a lot of money that you can't do it because you can. And I'm done rambling.
As always, be kind to each other. You never know a battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I hope you all have a very, very fantastic day. Bye, guys.